Hi, I'm Tastemaker and today I will show you a hands-on demo with the Key Zero Cyber device. I will show you how it works, what you can expect at launch, and how it can scale further with time. So when you get the Key Zero and you power it on, you can connect to its interface through your mobile phone's hotspot. So the first time you power it on, you connect to it through an AP and then connect it to your phone. And then you will get this interface available and you will get an instruction for how to connect to it. And then you enter the default credentials, which you can change. So let me do that. And we initialize. And now we are inside the key zeros terminal. And the first thing we have to do currently is to scan for a network. So the reason for that, uh, for this is that we are connecting to a network to test or check. And some people have asked me if we can have things like brute forcing networks or other possibilities to enter this. And this is definitely possible with time. I think it's easy to implement, but it's not always effective. So then we pick the network that we want to test and we authenticate with it if it has authentication. And then right now it will connect to that interface. So you are still connected to the device through its other interface. So your, your connection to this device with your phone is still connected, but the other interface is connecting. So the interface meant for targets. As you can see, it's a pop-up message which shows that we are now connected to another network. And what we can do now is we can do many things, but one of the things I want to show is that you will say, let's run a scan, for example. And we run a scan and it will start to look for devices around. So it's run the device discovery. And okay, we found five hosts. So currently now we're going through the deep scan. So the key zero deep scan. And what it does is that the five hosts that we discovered is getting checked. So deeper for open ports or when it finds open ports, it checks their versions. Is there any CVs, vulnerabilities or exploits? And as you can see, is it Windows, is it Linux, is there vulnerabilities, exploits, is checking. And this can take some time. So it quickly finds devices or use different techniques. It actually runs um, a lot of tools in parallel to achieve this. And I think that is pretty cool. So currently checking and I wanted this to be as simple as possible. So for even if you're a beginner or a professional, you should just start a scan and it should do as thoroughly scan as possible with you needing to remember lots of commands or tools or what you need is just handling this for you quickly. And that is the main purpose of the device to make even beginners or professionals able to do a quick assessment and even perform actions against them. So we will let this process a little bit. And later I was thinking to make a sort of a way that you can um, demand how fast or long time you will spend. So as you can see, we found three different targets. We found the Raspberry Pi that I have running here. We found the router, of course, and we found a MacBook. Yeah, a MacBook over here. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, okay, you can see it well. So what we can do now, we can click these targets and we can see it's a computer. It has no, the MacBook has no known vulnerabilities. What about the Pi? 
Oh, it's critical. It has MQTT, it has an open SSH, but also no vulnerabilities. And here we can see we have different actions that we can click on. So, for example, if we go to the router and check there, we have also different options. Oh, here we also have six potential issues. So, let's say that if we click Telnet Brute Force, it will start to run this, and it even found one. And <laughs> I knew this now since I was running the demo just to demonstrate. And it's funny because I discovered this by mistake when I was testing the tools. So this is sort of one thing that you can do. You can quickly check some of the, the vulnerabilities out there, out there just by clicking and Hilariously, I found a mistake in my own system when I found that my router has a default credential root root. But uh, you can also see something cool here because the agents inside Key Zero are simultaneously discussing which target you should attack. And they will also help you to Let's say that you have a lot of targets, a lot of things to click. Do you want to run the MQTT or SSH? Like what kind of attack or exploit do you want to do? And yeah, they, they're even mentioning SSH and they're afraid that it's a honeypot, but uh, uh, they help you to explore. And it's also the intelligence agents that maps some of these devices. So. Sometimes it can be hard to find um, uh, in a dynamic environment to kind of understand what the device is or what version it is and parsing them is a nightmare. And some of these are what I use the intelligent agents for as well. So they are used for mapping devices, for finding vulnerabilities um, from a, a database that I made. and of course, executing the exploits. And that's also something I use them for because when you run a an exploit, sometimes it can be really hard to understand if the exploit worked or not, right? You can't just parse all the outputs. So that's some, some of the things I, I used intelligence for. So I, th I think that the, if you see it, the incredible opportunities that you can do with the key zero is endless. You can power on this device, you can run it in your home, in the office, really everywhere and get a map of things and their vulnerabilities like their CVEs um, or exploits and then easily sort of, uh, I don't know if I showed you this, but you can click on here and you will find the the CVs. So in case you're wondering if it's actually legit CVs, you can click on the ports and see some of the vulnerabilities here if you want to. And I think this is super cool. You can do a lot of other things as well, like uh, checking the agent status, their information. So in case that you have, I don't think this have any, in case they would have any information um, like what they have found, what they have done, you can click on and see what agents have inside the system. So, and this is because they are um, stateful, meaning that agents are not functions. They're sort of always running, whether you're using them or not. So if they find the information, you can look this up and see even like what they're doing. It's a little bit hard to see here maybe, but on the bottom here, you can click on the different agents and pick uh, which you want to talk to. I know the interface is not that easy to see always on camera since it's transparent, but you can see QScout ready. If I click this, QExploit ready. And you can talk with them uh, and ask them questions. So just to briefly summarize, what we did was that we started to ask for a scan. 
and I scanned my network and it found different hosts and three of them had um, eight services uh, with open ports and we checked those and checked what they had if they were vulnerable and I'm trying to see if it's easy to see and we checked what actions they had. So for example, the Raspberry, you can test SSH, you can test MQTT. Um, and then the router, we tested the Telnet brute force and found the credentials, which I already knew about, but um, it shows the potential. And you don't need to remember tools. Everything is handled here, whether it's integrated tools or custom tools that I have integrated, all of this, is something you don't need to think about. You just run the device and it helps you visualize and test and explore everything around you. And I think this is super exciting because the possibilities ahead is endless. We can improve this, we can add more actions, more tools supported and keeping this simple interface, um, but still powerful. So I hope that this hands-on demonstration showed you a little bit closer how it works. And later I will show you things like uh, the connection, how you connect to your device and like session. You can see that we have session statistics, how many agents were involved, commands, scans, and a lot of new things as well. So, Thank you for watching and I'm excited to show you more of Key Zero ahead.